Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Master of Magic, or Caster of Magic. Uh, it has actually been several days since the last time I recorded one of these. Had uh, some live streams, and then had uh, a bout of laryngitis that I was dealing with. My throat is still kind of sore and scratchy, so I'm having to really manage how much I record here. Which is unfortunate, but uh, I've been itching to get back to this bad boy. So let's go ahead and do that. Presumably we're in a fairly good state. I actually don't remember exactly where we're again. It's been quite a long time. Looks like we are working on an enchanted item here. I believe these are, this is gonna be a defensive item for my heroes, which I believe I have two and I do. Um, and mostly probably at first for Gunter. Well, hmm, that's interesting. Cause Gunter being a meleeer is more likely to get in trouble. On the other hand, long-term I wanna keep Rakir. He's ranged. Um, attacker and he's a spellcaster, he's much more valuable long term than Gunter will be. We'll see, I guess. I don't know. Well, that's some money. Currently running the out of mana, but we could, of course, do alchemy things, so that's going to be okay. Um, you are just building regular swordsmen. I do like the idea of having these cities defended up a little bit more. I think I probably will stop here because if I recall correctly, we are actually producing. Yeah, we are starting to produce some magicians, so I'll probably just get a magician to fill this lot and go back to something else here. I think we are going to want to do some more settling, but I may want to just very quickly get a few more of the basic buildings, like a library over here. More cities, more better, but of course, to make them better, they actually have to have some buildings. Um, my army stack is just chilling over here because I don't think we could clear anything else with this stuff as is. So most of they're just responding to monster attacks. I think the plan is probably to build up an army of uh, fire giants and maybe with the heroes as well. Do I have... Hmm. I don't think I've got a spell I can count. No, because I mean, if I had unit spells, they would show up over here. I don't think I've got anything to make these heroes fly. I'm trying to remember if Chaos has that option even. They do have a couple of like weird random mutation things. Maybe one of them leads there. But I think in practice, we're going to have to build a boat to maybe ferry the heroes around. I, I've been kind of hesitating building boats because, you know, flying units. But in this case, it might be useful. What the hell were you doing here? I don't know. A few ghouls. Oh, this was the ghouls and the invisible punks, right? Did we try taking out these werewolves? Because that might be okay. You've got magicians. Oh, I think I was planning on settling here, wasn't I? Yep, that looks... Yeah, I think that was it. It's not a very high population site, but it'll have the iron. Um, and they really can't cram a high population site in there. So that's going to be okay. All right, I sure we're going to want more settlers, but let me go ahead and just pop out for a sec. Because I want to establish the ones I've got and then figure out where everything else is going. University? I mean, it's just research points. On the other hand, I, like it builds in a fifth the time of the Wizards Guild. We don't need the cathedral. I'm hoping we're not gonna need walls. Uh, maybe, you know what? Maybe I slap down a Sage's Guild. It does take longer to build than the university, but it gives twice the uh, research points for barely any more maintenance. So actually, I think that's a good idea. What are we currently researching? Heroic Heart. I think I think I wanted this as an option for some hero heals, but it's not a super powered thing. But at the same time, it's going to research fairly quickly. So I think that was okay. How's my magic distribution? I was going to say it's not towards mana. Oh, it's not even towards research. It's heavy on the skill. Um, It looks like we can we can summon fire giants every other turn now, which I think is what I was kind of targeting. I mean, I could keep going all the way up. We'll see. Um. Yeah, I think there's going to be some changes. Okay, from what I can see on this island, I think we've settled all the spots we can. Well, there might be more to the south. I know there's one going there. Oh, I should send one way down here, actually. Oh, there's um, there's clearly a, a like a rebel city over here since I can't settle. Um, this is probably fine. It's not a huge site. But it'll get the gold. Um, this technically is slightly better right now. It's possible to have overlap with whatever the uh, rebel city is. I should get a flying unit hit squad over there or summon some stuff. I guess I was planning on settling that way. Okay, you are coastal. What are you building? Oh, you're doing housing. And you've got rebellion. That, I think, may have been a bit of an error to let it go so long. Uh, I could change the taxes. I 
think the thing to do... I go Builders Hall, I can build the Parthenon, like religious buildings, for anti-rebellion. I can also go Barracks Coliseum for one. But I'll go... Oh, we can build the Shipwright Guild now. You know what? I'm going to just eat the Rebellion here, just so that we can get a ship ASAP. I have enough money. I could rush by things. I have to remember to convert some things to a mana, though. Flameblade. Now, this is not a bad option to have around. Ooh, Chimeras. What's nice about these is they do fly, so we can even combat, combo them with our... Um, with the Draconians. I don't know what their stats are, like, of the, the Chimera until I summon one. I mean, I could I could take a look at the caster of uh, Magic Manual. I assume it's pretty good. The thing is... Well, shit, do we just skip the Fire Giants and just make Chimera armies? I mean, they're probably pretty good. And depending on what their stat weakness is, I could combo them with some defensive Draconians. I'm assuming Chimeras are going to be heavy hitters. I'm just worried they're going to, they could potentially be a little squishy. Although the research time's really high. So I think what I might do is very quickly burn through some of the cheaper ones. Now, Wall of Fire has to be cast ahead of time. Oh, there's no mana upkeep. Oh, no, hold on. 2060. So it, the, when you see the split cost, that's the combat cost. So I can cast this if we get attacked. And if I cast it on my cities, there's no maintenance. Okay, let's get this. I might not go around casting into my cities. We'll see. We do have a slight food shortage. Let me fix it with this city. And yeah, I'll just get a trireme here. I think any boat can carry a full stack of units, regardless of type. You know what? I'm just going to buy you immediately. Oh, yeah. And then it's going to queue something up. But no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, I still have mana, but I'm going to go and do some alchemy here. So I don't randomly run out. You're the place making magicians, indeed. So you're going to keep doing that. And we're going to, yeah, just get get a magician or two in every city. They're a little bit more expensive to maintain, but they're going to be very, very useful. You are a flyer. I have no idea what my plans were with this one, but I'm going to send you down there. Does this stack any of flyers? It does. So we're going to grab these guys and also send you down here. But then the rest of the stack and those, I think we're going to, we'll get you to walk all the way over here. Same thing with you. I have no memory. Oh, oh, right. No, you were supposed to guard a city spot, which, oh, I need another settler over there. I had assumed one was on the way, but I guess that's not the case. Tell you what, I'm going to buy the Sage's Guild, and then we're going to get another settler going here. We're making huge money per turn. Boom. Thank you for the research. We're going to have to send a magician here, too, but let's get a settler. Bank is done. You've got a decent number of units. Yeah, you're just going to go for some basics. Keep our research coming. I think we'll have to uh, migrate some people over to food somewhere else, but I want to get more production in your city. You could use a little bit more muscle as well. Hopefully we'll send some things your way. But for now, yeah, just keep going with the basics. And you have some rebellion. You are you're going to get a six person. I think we sent a magician over here, so that will res um, resolve the rebellion. But I might throw down a shrine anyway, because you might be on the cusp of growing to some other uh, rebel on top of that. So, so let's move you down here. Depending on who arrives first, I might send you out to scout. We shall see. I was going to say, I was literally just about to say, I'm betting our magic item is about to pop out. There you go. There's our basic amulet of protection. Yeah, I'm going to put it on Rakir first, because if he were to die... Now, we do have ways... Ugh, do we have ways to bring people back? Or is that just life magic? I don't remember if that's an arcane spell or not. It might just be life magic to bring a dead hero back. So yeah, I really don't want to lose Rakir, so I'm going to go ahead and give him the extra defense and resistance. Um, now, keep in mind, this extra defense here with the 30% defense chance, unless you got bonuses to... No, you don't have any bonuses. This is only going to translate to one less damage per attack. Although it's also translates to 30% more resistance to spells, right? The resistance. So it's still going to be very handy. I'm tempted to make another one of these basic defensive items for Gunter. Or what I do is I make um, I make a spell casting amulet now. Like this. To put this on Rakir and then we move the other amulet over to, um, uh, to, to Gunther.
At some point, we can, we'll be able to make artifacts, which will sort of obsolete these. I think we can go plus six attack, maybe plus four in the defense and resistance. Although, I mean, it takes a lot of mana to do that. So I am still wondering, like, do we just, do we just throw out another basic one? I mean, it's going to be half the cost, so half the time to, de to develop. Fudge it. You know what, I'm going to do this. And I do like to make the miscellaneous items first, because as far as I know, all the heroes have at least one miscellaneous slot. Um, and I know that at least, what's his name? Greybeard, Grey Tree, something like that, I think has got two miscellaneous slots. So you're guaranteed to be able to apply this on everything. Not everyone's got a defensive item slot. Not everyone's got a sword slot or a wand slot or a bow slot. But the miscellaneous items are going to be okay. I'm, I'm going to go ahead with this, because I don't think we're going to start... I don't think we need the monster summoning quite yet. I do want to clear out all those interesting sites. But um, the next, it looks like the next thing we're going to do is tackle um, a neutral city. So we're not going to do that. I guess I'm going to settle here. Seems okay. I'm going to have to trust past, my, past me that that was an okay spot. And then I'm going to grab these dudes and just put them in there. And do one of those. And this still looks okay. So we've got this city. There's going to be no overlap. Uh, we gain two units of population if we go one tick to the south, and everything else is the same. I think I do move one unit to the south. So you're still spamming out magicians. I mean, you need one yourself too. But as I was gonna say, my capital's only got five dudes in it. So let's move you into the capital. Oh shoot! I forgot to turn off the boat production. Duh! Uh, build a miner's guild. Everyone needs it. You don't have a mineral, but you'll still take the production boost. So it's going to be fine. Um, I can use this thing to scout around, although we did spot a lot of the world. Maybe we'll move you around that way and see what's what. Ships do have crazy stats. They got rid of some of the ways to make, like, stupid overpowered flying ships, but they there's still some things you can do, and it's kind of neat. Hello, Parch. Okay. Even golden mana. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Although one advantage to working on our spell skill is we might shave another turn off of this depending on exactly how the math works out. Our skill is now 60, so we can burn 60 mana per turn uh, on this. Uh, yeah, I'm still happy that we're developing that. Miner's Guild. Oh, yes! I forgot you had this unrest too. Hold on. We're going to do that. You do have the six units. Okay, good. That's the magician I sent over to the capital. So, oh! Hold on, it patrolled with both units. You here. Oh, and now let's turn off the settler again. We'll just slap down a happy little university. I'm 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 the Bob Ross, Bob Ross of 4X games, you guys. Oh yeah, you're coming here too. That's where we might settle, but I'm gonna pop down here, because there's definitely a neutral city. Okay, yeah, university. Yeah, I think we're gonna send you over that way. All right, we got money, we got mana, so we're ready for a fight here. Although we're going to wait until the ship arrives and our land forces arrive so we can ferry them across. Ah, hey, Gunther leveled up. Extra hit point, extra defense is going to be really good. Big thing is keeping them all alive. Hello, Ice Top. Let me go and purchase for you a sawmill immediately. Lovely. Um... I think we do have the full hit squad going down, but I think I might send you down this way anyway. Yeah, there's the flying squad. There's the village. Knew there had to be something over here. Magic market. Um, let's get a library next. And yeah, you could use some magicians up there too. I guess we'll get a Miner's Guild. Unless I just want to go Barracks Colosseum. Get, keep getting those fame boosts. That's not a bad question. I got to check my fame situation. There's some food stuff to do. Oh, let's, uh, sorry. Granary first. And actually, I will also rush by you, please. Uh, oh, there you go. You can get on the boat. I'm get you to just... Oh, sprites! That should be... Interesting sprites. Sprites are pretty easy, and I associate that with the sort of dungeon you'd see right next to your starting home. And now I'm a little bit nervous that, um... 
it's not just sprites. But we'll see. Okay, food, food, food. I can probably just tweak my capital. It's not doing anything time critical right now. Um, my capital... I wonder... Do we have an Animus Guild? Oh. Let's do that. I'm going to buy that right away. Because plus one food per farmer. Oh, speaking of. Well, we clearly don't need production here so I just, since I just bought things. So I'll do that, and then I'll be able to free up a lot of farmers somewhere. I mean, ideally, I want to leave maximum farmers my capital since they're worth more. And then maybe cancel them somewhere else, but we'll see. Okay, Chaos Channel. So... <laughs> This is one of the reasons I don't tend to play Chaos, because this shit is weird. So this is a, um, as far as I know, this is a, like you cast it on the world map. You target an, a, a unit, a normal unit, so not a fantastic unit, and it warps us, warps it in some weird way. It still gains XP like a normal unit. Um, I think it counts as a fantastic creature for other purposes. I'm not, I'm not sure here. Target unit receives one of the following mutations. Demon skin, plus three defense. Demon wings, two speed flight. So that effect here is not really useful for our draconians it might be useful if we make our night elves it maybe works normal unit i don't think that works on a hero or fire breathing which again my units have i'm wondering if this guarantees we get the um the demon skin armor all the time or if we can get these redundant things so it feels like chaos channel is really not going to be useful in my draconians since they're already kind of chaos creatures but We'll see. Mm. I'll get Flame Blade, because I want cheap, but these things are not useful at all to us right now. Well, I suppose if uh, the city we're about to attack has walls, we might appreciate Disrupt. Maybe I'll get it, just in case we do go after some neutral cities that uh, have that sort of thing. Rakir, I'm happy you're getting that hit points in defense. Well, I think they get a hit point every level. Okay, so you just finished the Animus Guild, so you're going to be making a huge excess of food, which means we can pull away food production from somewhere else. I will get you back on the university task. Yeah, five excess food. You will pull one out here. You used to have a bit of rebellion. We'll throw down a cathedral for you. Granary, so we can flip you this way and then get you working on the marketplace so you can do the farmer's market afterwards. Um, Now, this place only has, yeah, uh, four units. So let's throw a magician over in that direction. Do I have any land walkers in the stack? No, okay. So, what I'm gonna do is move you here, and then unload all you guys. Merge you up here. How do we feel about taking this? So, these um, are all swordmen, and no walls. Now, because they're Dark Elves, they do... I call them Night Elves a lot. Um, they do have the built-in magic attack, which can do some blooping. And the doorbell just rang. I'm going to have to put a... Oh, no, someone's getting at the door. Okay. I have no idea what's coming. Do we have a package coming? Maybe they just left something and then rang the doorbell. Um, But someone's getting it, so it's okay. Do I want to engage these guys? I'm really worried that they're just going to maybe, like, one-shot my heroes. Well, we're just going to save Scum it and go. I have no idea how to judge the incoming damage that can come in from this group. Okay, they're hitting my wizards, because they're probably a lot squishier. They did a hell of a lot of damage. All right, this wizard here. So we can cast a spell on behalf of the wizards. Um, we can summon some fire elementals because they have made room in our stack. Although I think they're, yeah, they, they have a magic range attack is what's going on than the dark elves. So they'd be able to do magical damage to the fire elemental. Maybe not with anything else. However, I think we're going to fire a ball. Fireball does damage to everything in a stack. Um, I think the large shield will assist with the defense. Well, let's try it from the wizard. Oh, that's pretty effective. Good, good, good. So we don't unfortunately have Fireball as a spell, which is highly disappointing. Um, I'm wondering if the thing to do is just to drop Shatters on a bunch of people. They don't have... Actually, their resist is really good. Not all of them. This one's got less XP, so he's only got a 40% chance of resisting. That's still pretty decent. 
fire bolting is a possibility, but they do have the shield, so they will take less damage from that. The thing with fireball is it's so fire bolt is a 24 damage attack. Fireball is I think a 12 damage attack, which sounds worse, but it's 12 to each figure, which means firebolt is better against a single figure enemy. Fireball is amazing for groups. I think what I'm gonna do is oh, I could just warp wood to kill all their range stuff. I don't know if there's enough units here for that to matter for. But maybe? Oh, it doesn't work against their magical ammo. Okay, well then, we are very simply going to summon a fire elemental somewhere over here. Uh, let me grab Brook here, who's also got spells. we're still going to fire elemental. Click and hold just to handle the micro of moving all these guys. Okay, the magician's gone. Okay, Rakir's doing kind of okay. I think I might heroic heart him, though. They're almost out of ammo, but if they decide to all start shooting him, things could go real bad. And I don't want that. And... Yeah, you don't really have anything going on, so I'm just going to scooch up a couple of squares. No, doesn't, that doesn't matter. You don't have long range or anything. No. So you will do some reduced damage here, and these guys have defenses against range stuff, but we might as well. How much do I feel like Gunter should run in here? Oh, you're not actually going to be able to attack this turn. Still, I think running in is still going to be mostly fine. Okay. So they're going to get another round of shooting here. Oh, are they out of ammo? No, just... Oh, my fire elementals were able to reach in melee. That's what was going on. Okay, I think that's their... No, they still have one more ammo left. Gunther's fine. Rakir's fine. Cool. I'm going to drop another fire elemental. And I think I'm just going to automate the rest of the combat here. Gunther doing some good damage. Excellent. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I was going to say there, there's going to be another round of action here with auto on. I'd wanted to check Gunter's hit points and maybe run him away. I didn't cancel the auto in time. See, this is what I get for being lazy. So we lose Gunter. You know what? That's fine. It was kind of inevitable. Ooh, that was a little scary. Maybe I should have. I Well, there's no should have. I should have... Uh, there's no maybe, rather. I should have um, kept manually running that combat. I probably wouldn't have lost Gunter at all. I could save scum it, but I'm going to live with my with my failure here. Uh, I will just move you into that. Do have some extra food I could pull out of some of the city. Well, now I have lots of extra food. That was the sawmill I purchased. We're going to go granary, and yeah, I'll purchase that as well. Wow, you have no farmers to remove, so... Get the research rocking. Sawmill, purchase you. Sawmill, purchase you. We may have to adjust our mana here. Okay, well, no, we still have some mana in the bank, that's fine. You chilled there for now. We'll use you for a little bit of uh, rebel suppression. Until we got some more numbers. You're going to patrol over here. Okay. So I had wanted to check our fame. Yeah, we're only sitting at five. Yeah, fire lentils coming to one of our cities. We're definitely going to check on that. I think we do want to do more settlement, but I am wondering about throwing down some more wizards guilds. They take forever to build, but the maintenance cost for the power and uh, research is really nice. Yeah, I think I will do that. Granary over here. Let's move this this way. Your rebellion will end momentarily because we are sending an extra unit there. Oh, Miner's Guild. Especially there. You're going to make lots of money. Uh, sawmill is done. I will purchase this granary. 
I will not purchase this granary because I don't have any money. I will not build here. Oh! I thought that had been legal before. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it's too close to this city. Okay. Yeah. But I can still go here. There's going to be no overlap with anything as far as I can tell. So that's going to be fine. I'm going to move around with this hero and do some quick scouting. We have way too much food. I just want to click on a real city so I can start cycling through them. There we go. Pull a couple out there. We still have lots, which I expected. I want to not do it in my capital if I don't have to, so I'm going to do this. Perfect! Oh, shit! I forgot to check where the hell those fire elementals are coming. Well, they're coming here, apparently. How many are we talking about? I don't know. Well, um, we're going to start producing warlocks here in midnight, which is going to be wonderful. We're going to get a Coliseum over here. And, well, actually, I got to check. Midnight might still need some buildings to buff their uh, combat stats. Uh, where is this? Oh, this is a high top, newish city. Marketplace into farmer's market, please. Sawmill, and I will purchase you. It's a lot of hellhounds. We're halfway there. I can't cancel. I was like, oh, I can move the summoning circle. What I need actually is a little more mana. Hold on. I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to alchemize all the gold I can. So I'll have a little bit more mana for the combat. The uh, moving the mana meter is not actually going to make a difference for this combat because we're not going to get it yet. But Let's uh, let's get ready to move a magician down to those cities. I'm actually quite concerned about this battle. I don't. You know, I think the wall of fire. I mean, it's not going to protect us from the fire elemental, but it will make a big difference versus the hellhounds. Really? I know it's got, like, weapon immunity, but it should work against the, uh... It should work against their magical range attacks. So I think these guys will take 10 damage from attacking through the firewall. So standard ploy will counter fire with fire. I don't want to try out of this. I'm going to sort of bait with the fire. Actually, maybe I will pull back the fire elemental. Never mind. Okay, so they're going to get their first attack, which is great for their flame breath. But they will take the uh, the damage. Can I do anything else? No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that was the disrupt which we needed just in case. Um, gargoyles. I don't know if they're really going to be critical at this point. I'm going to flame blade and drop it when we attack things that are weapon immune and maybe have a few more options. Plus it gives us some extra range damage too. I don't know if it works on the magic range attacks. Yeah, let's get these wizard's towers up everywhere. This Rick here, he's got pathfinding, but I guess it doesn't slow down his, um, it doesn't fix the movement rate on mountains? Oh, actually, go away. Oh, you've forester, not pathfinding. Okay. I think pathfinding is you treat everything as if it was a road. Which in Caster of Magic means no movement penalties. A normal road on the normal plane is... In Master of Magic would be half movement for every square, and then in the Mirren plane would be infinite movement along roads. In Caster of Magic, it's changed so that on a normal plane, a road is just ignore terrain penalties, and in the Mirren plane, it's uh, half movement cost on roads. 
So the vanilla normal plane roads are what you get in the Caster of Magic Mirren plane. Which is probably for the best because the infinite uh, movement on the Mirren roads led to some pretty degenerate stuff. Both on defense and attack. In vanilla here. Right. I'm going to let you finish the Warlock. In fact, I'm going to buy it because you did lose some dudes. I'm going to let you finish one here, which will also fix the Rebellion. And then, because I think we still need you to have some military buildings. But Warlocks are pretty beefy. Yeah, I'm going to go Barracks Colosseum, because I am hoping to be offered some more heroes. The more fame we've got, the more likely it is, plus the stronger the pool of heroes that we can get. Could send a second Magician up here, because that will bring its defense up to five. Although, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some extra dudes down in the new island. Another neutral city over here. Okay, that's our Warlock. And yeah, um, they get this Doomboat spell. Yeah, 12 points of damage regardless of defense. Just ignores defense, just does flat out 12 damage. It's insanely good. But, yeah, I was going to say, what we're going to want is... Um, we're going to want the barracks followed by the war college. That way we get veteran warlocks for some extra stats. And then we'll, uh, if we get a nine stack of that, that can probably clear everything on this little island. It depends. If we run into, um, one of these lairs that has a bunch of ranged attackers, they can wipe out a bunch of your warlocks before they get a chance to doom bolt. So then the question becomes, where do I want to put Rakir at this point? Um, I think... I think what I'm going to do, because I think the Warlock Death Squad is the way to go. I'm going to move Rakir here, and I'm going to pull back with the boat to over here. We'll have Rakir plus eight Warlocks, maybe. Go and do some clearing. That seems relatively decent to me. I... Oh, this is my other boat. I was like, did I not just tell you to go and pick up Rakir? I forgot I had two going on. I guess this is a fine place to put in a cut, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode, and I'm going to see you guys next time.